Okay, so here's a NetSuite customer deposit that has been associated with a NetSuite bank deposit, but we can't immediately tell the bank deposit number from this screen. If we look in any of our related records or, or our apply to tab, we're going to see the invoice that is associated that the payment was applied to, but we can't immediately find the deposit number. So I'm going to walk through two quick steps of identifying this. The first is just an ad hoc search by coming in to bank, make deposits, and search. And you can see the search automatically types, uh, defaults to finding a type of deposit. So now we can just look for a field called applied to transaction. And then we are gonna be looking for our customer deposit number, which is CD06. We can set that field. So we have type of deposit, applied to transaction is customer deposit CD06 submit and then we'll come up with just one record here dep07 if we click on that we can see that this is our netsuite bank deposit cd06 is being deposited here so that's a quick ad hoc way to be able to identify a bank deposit on the fly now the other method is if this is something that you're looking for on a regular basis to identify the deposit that a uh, payment transaction is linked to, we can actually add a custom field directly to our transaction record that displays the deposit number. So we'll walk through that real quick here. So if we go to customizations, we want to set up a new transaction body field. And we'll call this new field linked deposit. It's always a good idea to set a ID for your custom fields. We're gonna leave it as a freeform text field and uncheck the store value so it just sources it uh, immediately when you load the transaction. So this is gonna be applied to a sales type transaction. Um, under the display subtab, I'm gonna add the main subtab so it displays right at the top of our customer deposit form. And under validation and defaulting, we're gonna default this inside curly brackets and we're going to type deposit transaction dot number. So this is the value that it is going to load. It's going to pull in from the deposit transaction record and bring the document number in. So we can go ahead and hit save and apply to forms. I'm going to unmark all of these right now. The only form that I want to add this to is our customer deposit form. I'm going to save that. Now if we come back to our customer deposit CD06 and we refresh our page, we should see a new field added called link deposit. Here it is right here, link deposit, and it shows that this payment transaction is part of DEP 07. So that's just a easier way to be able to identify these linked transactions um, in a way that if you need to set it up for your users, they don't need to run a separate save search to be able to identify them. So I hope you found this useful. If you um, would like to reach out to GSI, you can email sales at getgsi.com. And thank you for your time.